Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I wanted to film a vlog for you. It's been a while. And in a few days, Mo and I are going on vacation. We are so excited, so ready. There are a few beauty treatments that I like to get done just before we go away. I will also do these just in general, but I will try to schedule them just before a trip so that I feel extra fresh and beautiful. So I want to take you guys along with me for those. You guys can see what I do. And then I also want to show you guys how I kind of pack and prepare for a trip um, in terms of like all the things that I have to bring with me and how I kind of organize that. I did already film a bit earlier this week so I will insert that footage now but I take you guys with me to uh, show you my favorite way to remove my hair like my body hair because that is a definite must before we go on a trip. I take you to my nail appointment and also to my facial. The struggle has been real with my skin lately. I talked about it briefly in my last video but I had a pretty bad reaction reaction to I think a mix of some newer products that I was trying some SPFs and they just caused my skin to break out so I've been super careful with my skincare lately and just using products that I know work for me and that facial has really helped me with my skin so I want to show you guys all of that right now hey guys it is Monday today I am sitting in the car right now I'm about to head into my laser appointment um, for laser hair removal I've just been to do my nails I just got the same color that I had before which is this really pretty like pearly white color it's got quite a bit of shine to it which I really like so I just got the same and I think it's perfect now for the summertime getting my nails done before I go on a trip is a definite must that is something that I do every single time I just I love having my nails done I did film a little bit in there but it was a bit difficult to be honest so I don't know how much I got but I'll put in the clips that I got into my laser appointment and a lot of you guys have actually asked me about hair removal um, what I personally do I actually used to wax for the longest time and I'd always wanted to do laser but it's a it's a commitment you know you have to go for a few sessions until you really see the results but I decided to start doing it in I think my first appointment was in February it's now June um, so this is going to be my third or fourth appointment and the results have been amazing so I do laser on pretty much my entire body I do it um, from my feet all the way to like my belly button pretty much so I do everything and then I also do under my arms as well and for those of you who might be new to laser uh, it's basically a permanent hair removal technique where they literally burn the root of the hair so it can be a little bit painful as I said I've been waxing for so so many years that I'm kind of used to the pain to be honest and the results are definitely worth it someone's calling I'm just outside okay so they just called me from my appointment so I have to go inside I'm gonna see how much of that I can show you and then we'll be heading to a facial together in the car now that took about 
two and a half hours I just need to take a second to like collect myself because it's so intense but it is worth it since you know you get to remove your hair permanently and that was my third session so you need about six to I would say seven sessions to have it completely gone forever so I'm halfway there and now I am gonna go to my next appointment I have a facial booked and we'll be doing a hydrofacial so it's a little bit less intense than my usual microneedling uh, facials but I like to alternate so I'll do a more gentle facial and then a few weeks later I'll do a more intensive one um, like the microneedling and I also love to get that done before we go away on a trip just to feel extra good about my skin so now I have about one hour until I have to be there so I'm gonna go to the city there's this new organic beauty store um, with all these like clean and natural products that just opened so I want to go and check that out then head to the appointment take my makeup off and have a really nice facial she is amazing um, this woman has like angel hands and she's really helped me a lot with my skin um, over the last couple of years so that's the plan. In my bedroom this is where we're gonna be packing so I've had my nails done I've removed the hair from my body so I feel all nice and smooth and got in a facial and that facial by the way was so good as I mentioned I have been suffering a little bit with my skin but a hydrofacial is seriously so good at really like pulling and deep cleansing your pores so I'm feeling a lot better about um, my skin right now which is really good just before we go on vacation because I also don't want to wear as much makeup when we're away speaking of makeup before we get into the packing I want to show you guys what I got from that organic beauty store I got a few new makeup 
items, mostly like base product for my face. So I found this one. This is from Ilia and it is their True Skin Serum Foundation. It is what I have on today. I tried it this morning. I really, really like it and the ingredients in here are really good. It's called the Serum Foundation. So it's half um, skincare and half makeup and it's got mineral based pigments to give the color to the foundation. So it's a really great product and I'm super, super impressed. I also picked up this powder from RMS. This is their Un Powder and it's the tinted version. I think it's a new um, product from the line. I haven't used this yet, so I will report back and let you guys know if I like it. So now it's time for some packing and organizing my things for the trip. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet, but we are going to Barcelona. My dad actually lives in Barcelona. Some of you guys might know that. So we're going to be staying with them for the first few days and then we have a hotel booked in the city for the weekend. And yeah, I'm super excited. The weather looks amazing. Here it is the most gray, rainy, cold day, but it has actually been quite nice the last few days. It's just today, it's like very cold and miserable, but it's actually putting me in the mood and like getting me excited to pack and just organize my things so that we can be on our way. And usually if we're just going away for a few days, like a weekend or a long weekend, I will plan my outfits ahead of time and then I'll just bring those outfits. But in this case, because we're going for just over a week, I'm a bit more flexible and I'm just just going to pack things that I can wear together and then kind of choose on the day. Uh, also, I have a bigger suitcase because we're going for longer, so yes. Let's get started. <laughs> this is one of my closets. This is where I like to keep my longer dresses and like beach shawls. Anything that's quite long because as you can see it's like a full length closet so nothing gets like wrinkled on the bottom. This dress is definitely one that I'm gonna bring. I showed this to you guys in one of my recent hauls. It's beautiful. It's from Zara. So I'm gonna put this right over here and this is another one that I really love. This is also newer from ASOS. I'm gonna bring this one. Oh, this one, definitely. This is from Mango. Love this dress. I'm also going to take this one right here. This is a newer dress from Sandro. It's so pretty. I love the color and the flower details on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there is a shorter dress underneath and then this kind of like lays over it. Super pretty. Taking her and this is uh, this is one of my favorite beach cover-ups. Um, I love this. I got this ages ago but I wear it on pretty much every vacation. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from For this closet I'm gonna move to the next ones and then I kind of go by like closet to closet and see what I want to take and then I kind of narrow it down as I'm packing and like putting things into my suitcase so whilst we're here I'm gonna show you guys my swimsuit and bikini area drawers so this is where I keep all of my bikinis so I have all of my bikini tops here and the matching bottoms on this side and then in this drawer I have some swimsuits right here and then here I have some other little um, beachwear items so some like little beach dresses uh, some more swimsuits and like cover-ups so I'm gonna go through this pick my favorites
just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own keep part of our shoes we had to get a bit creative because we needed more space so we just put in these shelves in this little like nook area here that we had in the room but it works out pretty well because I like that you can kind of see everything and then we have some other shoes in our closets and stuff I'm definitely gonna take these ones these are my loafers from Chanel love these they go with so many different things I'm also gonna take these bejeweled espadrilles that I got from ASOS and these nude sandals from Zara that I also recently showed in uh, one of my new hauls. And I like to bring just a classic pair of simple black um, sandals if we go out for dinner or something. These go with lots of different things. And I might bring these ones. These are from Gian Vito Rossi. These are so, so comfy. We also had this little area here that was empty before. So we decided to put in some shelves there too. And now it's where I keep all of my handbags. So usually when we travel, I will use this larger Celine tote bag as the bag that I travel with because it's obviously a lot bigger so I can fit like more things for the plane. So I'll be packing all of my things in here. Then I'm definitely going to bring my uh, classic Chanel flat bag because this bag goes with everything. It's such a classic so I'm going to take her. And then this bag from Furla. It's a beautiful little white and gold bag. And I actually saw another bag that I am so in love with. I might be getting that one before we go on our trip but it's also like a lighter colored bag because as you can see I don't really have a lot of uh, neutral colored like lighter colored bags for summer and I think this one's going to be really nice. So this is the progress so far. I've pretty much covered my entire bed with all the things I want to take with me on this trip but I can't take everything obviously so I'm now going to go through it all and just see what I want to keep uh, what I can put away. Then I'll do all of my like beauty bits, underwear, workout clothes, makeup, electronic stuff at the end. done with like the clothes uh, portion of the packing so this is what the suitcase looks like right now I do have these swimsuits that I'm gonna put in there but I wanted to show them to you guys because I just got these in and that's something else that I do before I go on a trip is I like to shop and I really like the swimwear on ASOS I like other things on ASOS too but their swimwear is usually really nice so this is what the first swimsuit looks like it has these really pretty mesh cutouts I think it's quite an elegant swimsuit but it still has some Something really fun and unique about it so I will definitely be taking this one and then this is the second swimsuit it's kind of similar in that it's black and it has this mesh um, fabric here which I love and it has this nice kind of detail in the waist so it really cinches in your waist or it gives the illusion of a cinched in waist which I also like I think that's very flattering that's what it looks like from the back so it also has this mesh detail it's so pretty again really elegant very feminine but still has something quite unique and like young to it so really like this one as well and the last swimsuit i got is this one right here how beautiful is that it has these gorgeous like big red flowers it starts from here and it goes all the way across the shoulder and then onto the back 
this is more of a special swimsuit like I wouldn't go and full-on swim uh, in the sea or in the pool uh, with the swimsuit but I think this would be really nice for photos the last few things that are going to go in my bag are like smaller items so beauty products uh, electronics things like that and I always pack them in smaller bags like this this particular one I use for my underwear and I've been using this one for years and years I really like it because it's soft and it's very slim so it just fits easy in my bag so in here I have all my underwear for the week and some socks and then I just close it up here I have another one of those bags and in this one I put my hair products so shampoo, conditioner, uh, my hairbrush, a curling wand, and that will also go into my suitcase. And then in this bag, I will put all my skincare products. I really like this one because it has small compartments on the side so you can keep everything pretty organized. And this one is actually from H&M. I think they still have it. I got this a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it. So I will try to link it down below. But it is empty now because I like to pack my skincare the morning of my flight. And then the same goes for my makeup makeup items which I will put in this pink one my electronics which usually goes in here and I love cases like this because it just keeps everything organized and in one place which is really important when you travel so I'm pretty much done with packing for today and then as I mentioned on the day of our flight I'll pack all my skincare products and my makeup items because I'll need those getting ready on the day so I can't pack them yet and um, and yeah I think that's about it for today I think we did pretty well I feel quite confident with what I packed and as I mentioned it's a very easy uh, trip there's no work events or anything like that so it's pretty chill but um, but yeah now I've worked up quite an appetite <laughs> I'm so hungry so I'm gonna get something to eat and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later we've got some tomato soup and this delicious salad yum Good morning everyone, it is the next day. I am sitting in the car right now, I'm waiting for Mo to get here, he just had to run up and get something. It's around 9 o'clock in the morning, we are on the way to the gym. Exercising in general is something that I love to do, it just makes me feel so good like mentally. I think that's one of the main things that pushes me to keep doing my workouts. If I'm having a bad day or if I'm feeling stressed or even just like if I'm normal, once I get my workout in, I like the rush of endorphins is so good. And before we go on a trip, I usually try to up the workouts just a little bit more just to feel extra good and confident and happy in my body. So I'll show you guys a little bit of what I do in the gym and then afterwards we'll be heading to the city. We have a couple of things that we have to get for the trip and I also wanna go and get a new pair of sneakers that I saw from Dior, they are so beautiful. So we're gonna go look at those and then tonight, we have um, a birthday party for one of my best friend's uh, boyfriends. It's his birthday. They'll be doing a little barbecue at their place and then we're all going out afterwards. So that will be pretty fun. And then tomorrow is our flight. I'm so excited. Pick up the dice, give it a roll. You never really know which way to go. Feel it inside. Somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone when you're naked and broken, nowhere to go. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? Does somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where the green isn't covered by snow? Every time that your eyes speak, it's time to let go. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know?
I love that post-workout shower. There's nothing like it. I washed my hair. I've done my makeup. So now we're off to the city. I have a few things that I need to get before tomorrow. And then I'm gonna go look at those shoes again that I saw at Dior. This is my look today. I'm just wearing the same outfit that I wore yesterday because why not? I was just being very indecisive and I really like this combo. So I'm wearing my white Levi's uh, denim jeans. These are so comfy. I wear these so often. And then this little silk kind of uh, satin cami is from H&M. And then I've got my Chanel bag, my little Gucci belt, and my sandals are from Zara. I love wearing white sneakers and I saw these the other day, I think they're so cute. They're like a, a white, kind of off-white canvas and then they have this pretty Dior like lacing. So cute, they're gonna go with lots of different things. To the yellow one. The yellow one is it's extreme, yeah. But they have also a blue one, did you see? Them. I love that it's kind of like a bit more street style when you have this thicker strap but then if you want it to be like really uh, like chic and elegant if you're going for a nice dinner and um, to have it with a dress you can just wear it like this you can put it on your arm it's really versatile and I love that it's a neutral color I just I need a nice like neutral bag in my collection
set? All set. So we are all ready to go. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more today, but it's just been a bit stressful, which is honestly part of traveling as well. Yeah. Bye apartment. See you in one week. Made it to the airport and we're waiting to board our flights. Is this in focus? I wanted to talk to you guys a bit earlier, but it was just like so busy, and that's like I guess also a part of traveling is that usually I'm late and I'm like rushing at the end. That's why I kind of like to organize my stuff beforehand so that that doesn't happen, but I guess it's just a little bit inevitable. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. These are some of my favorite videos to film for you guys. It's just so much more chill and easy and I just like being able to like show you guys other parts of my life as well. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more. I'm actually going to start another vlog uh, tomorrow, which will be our Barcelona vlog. So I'm going to start filming pretty much as soon as I um, put this video up. So there will be a new vlog uh, in a few days as well. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're all having a really nice day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.